when we are disconnected from ourselves, when we are doing things to please others, when we are doing things because we think we should, when we are trying to fit in, you hear all that, like trying, trying, forcing, that is not going to yield your best results. You will not be as effective as you absolutely could be. You, the thing is, is when you are connected with yourself, you're connected to the universe, you're connected to God, you're connected to the divine, you're connected to your source. When you are connected to yourself, you can create the impossible. You can, that's when miracles happen. The ultimate compliment is to be considered an asset by those who know you. But what exactly does that mean? And how do we get there? I believe that there is a less discussed approach to becoming a person of value, a person who is successful, respected by others, and fulfilled. It's somewhere between the hustle culture and the ease and flow of manifestation. This podcast is designed to be a resource for the ambitious, the relentless, and the rare who are breaking societal norms, going against the grain, and are open to unconventional practices as we study what it takes to be a true asset in every area of life. My hope is that you'll find this podcast unique and like it enough to share it with a friend and maybe even one day join us at one of our in-person events. Enjoy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with your host, me, Autumn Clifford. As always, I'm super excited to have you here. Today, I'm going to give you a little journal entry of my life, something that I feel like would you might find very beneficial and it might really help you. Um, I've been going through this, this time of my life, the self-exploration that I'm calling it. <clears throat> and it's really been about connecting to myself. And I'm telling you my story because I'm hoping that it will resonate with you. And really, I'm not trying to make it all about me. This is truly for you, but I have to tell you my story. So <laughs> that's the only way I could um, do this. So just know that like, I really want it to resonate with you. So please um, set the intention right now to be open-minded as to how this could impact you and how this could resonate with you. And what is the message that maybe you need to receive from um, my story? So I've been really on this journey of being very disconnected from myself, very connected, disconnected, very connected. And what happens um, when I'm disconnected versus when I'm connected. And then I started looking at the people who I really admire in life. People such as, we all know, drum roll please, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. I love Tom Brady. Um, I love Tony, excuse me, Tony Robbins. Um, I really enjoy Tim Grover, Andy Frisella. Um, <clears throat> I like watching Oprah's journey. Doesn't mean I like her political beliefs, but I do like her journey. I love you know, Brene Brown's journey. And I love her work. I look at Gabby Bernstein, even though her and I don't line up on a lot of political beliefs. She's been on this podcast. She is somebody who I really admire. There's um, a lot of people who I really admire that I, I like to look at and be like, okay, how did you get to where you gotten and, and all of the things. And, but I'm looking at it now from a different perspective. I used to, and you will hear episodes on this podcast, because this podcast might as well be the blog of my life. I think one day, <laughs> one day, this is going to be advertised as the blog of my life because you hear, you just hear so many, you know, different versions of me. And if you don't think that we don't change as people, then go and listen to me. <laughs> I change so much. And then you know, that's because of all the work that I do and the healing and the growth of the personal development and the coaching and all of the shit that I have done for myself um, that I also do with my clients that has, you know, yielded me the opportunity to be where I'm at today. And I'm very grateful. Um, so getting back to what I was saying is this. When we are disconnected from ourselves, when we are doing things to please others, when we are doing things because we think we should, when we are trying to fit in, 
when we are trying to belong, when we are trying to be loved, you hear all that? Like trying, trying, forcing. That is not going to yield your best results. You will not be as effective as you absolutely could be by focusing on connection with yourself. We tend to love to force things because we think that we are the fucking end all be all. And we think that we are the all knowers. And you, the thing is, is when you are connected with yourself, then you are like you, you're connected to the universe. You're connected to God. You're connected to the divine. You're connected to your source when you are connected to yourself and well, you can create the impossible. You can, that's when miracles happen. That's when the abundance happens, the love, the, you get pregnant after being told you could never get pregnant, right? Like that happens all of the time, but that's when we become connected to ourselves. That's when a lot of times that's when people just let go and they throw their hands up and they're like, fuck it. Like I have no other option. I don't know how to act. I don't know what to do. So here we are. Um, I'm saying that you can connect to yourself and you don't have to have that fuck it moment. <clears throat> I mean, maybe this is your fuck it moment. <laughs> and and um, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. I have, let me just tell you. So if you don't know this about me, um, I have been in the martial arts since I've been five years old. Started competing and I was on a sport karate team, trained with world champions all of the time. Um, won several main state grand championship titles. Um, I was second in New England and I was I won two three international titles. Um, and all by the time I was 16. I was pretty good at what I did. Looking back. I was connected to myself. That was my, that was how I connected to myself when I was young. Obviously I was, you know, wasn't sitting down meditating and journaling. Although my mom got me into journaling pretty close after high school. She's like, listen, you got to write some shit down. You got to process your stuff. Um, my mom's a very much a blessing that way. She's been into this personal development arena for a very long time and she helped me, but what I've recognized recently is that is what, I mean, I was successful. Listen, I'm not a naturally talented and gifted person. Like I have, I mean, I, 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 things come easier to me than maybe like some other people, but I'm not like a, you know, I wasn't a star basketball player on my basketball team. I was okay. I mean, I just played cause I enjoyed it. That wasn't, I'm not like this talented, like gifted person at all. I had to work. I trained. I had to focus. I had to dedicate myself to my craft, but grace also met me there. And grace to me is the connection to myself. Now looking back, that was how I connected to myself. I knew I would pray. I mean, and I was 12 years old, you know, starting to do this. I would pray for God to work through me, knowing that I was a vessel knowing that I needed grace to meet me halfway in order for me to perform and be the best version of myself. That is connection. I was connected to me, my focus, the, you know, the amount of determination I had as such a young person, I was connected to myself. And then what happened? A boy came into my life and I listened to him over listening to myself. And that from there, then on caused me a lot of fucking problems. And that is the story of a lot of our lives, whether it be a boy or whoever, friends, it doesn't matter. It could be, you know, and it could be parents, it could be an adult, whatever. But at some point we stop doing what's true to us. And then that's when we start gaining weight. That's when we start getting miserable, becoming unhappy, um, feeling like you just can't be successful. You just can't go and conquer the world. Like you once felt because when we're all younger, that's how we feel. Cause we know we can, and we're so connected to ourselves, which is being connected to the divine the source universe, God, whatever you want to call it. Like that you, we know that we absolutely can, we can go do whatever we want, but then 
there's something that trips us up in our lifetime where we are no longer connected to who we actually are. We are no longer tuning into our inner voice and listening to our guts. We are too busy listening to everybody else and we're trying to fit in. We're trying so hard to be loved like me, like my clothes, like my hair. I'm going to change it. I'm going to, I'm going to make it look like this. I'm going to be really friggin' skinny. I'm going to, you know, make myself have this big butt. I'm going to go get the fake boobs. I'm not against fake boobs, just so you know, but I'm just saying like, if, if, if we're doing it to turn ourselves inside out to be loved by somebody other than ourselves. We are doing it for reasons that are not going to benefit us. I'm not going to tell you they're the wrong reasons. I'm not going to make you wrong. I am no different. (laughs) I'm just sharing what I've recognized. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I hope you're enjoying it and getting some good stuff, mind shifting things from this. I just wanted to remind you super quick that if we are not hanging out on social media, we should be. You should come hang out with me. Um, I am the Autumn Clifford on Instagram. I'm Autumn Clifford on TikTok. And I have a Facebook group called She's an Asset. Love to have you there. Love to hang out with you and get to know you. Thank you so much for supporting my show. Let's continue. Nobody's wrong for this. It's just a harder way of, to do life. It's just a harder path. Take a look at the people, okay, who are, you can just think like, if I, and I'm going to use a famous example. It's my favorite example. It's Michael Jordan. He, he, he stayed connected to himself through his basketball. He was so connected to himself. Everybody talks about, if you go and watch, I mean, I read his biographies. There's not his own. He has not written one. There's several people that write about him. I listen to them. But if you go watch The Last Dance, that documentary, his documentary, he, somebody says the one thing that set Michael Jordan apart from everybody else was Michael's ability to be in the present moment at all times. He was connected to himself. The present moment, your ability to be in the present moment is how you are it's your, also your ability to be able to be connected to yourself because yourself is not in the future and yourself is not in the past. Yourself is right here in this moment. He was just so connected to himself. He was obviously unbelievably talented and he was obviously the hardest working athlete in the NBA. But he also was met with grace because he was connected to himself. That was how he stayed connected to himself. There's a lot of people in this world who are, their connection to themselves is like their thing. There's artists connected to themselves, you know, builders, construction people, hairstylists, athletes, you know, first responders. There's some first responders who, who it is just who they are. Like it is just who they are. In, and they've always wanted to be this person. They've always wanted to be this career. And the more, and, but, the, but it, it's not a detriment to them. It, it, you know, it's just who they are, but like the rest of their life, they're balanced. They're connected to themselves. They're not trying to fit in. They're not trying to be liked. They just are who they are and they're comfortable with it. And because of that, people do like them. And because of that, they're super successful. And so you have to ask yourself where you are on that scale. You know, I've been kind of, you know, for me, I'm going to tell you about my life is I, oh, it's not that I don't work hard. If you were with me, my working hard looks a lot different than the majority of people's because I work from home. But if you were to be with me and see how much work I do, you, you might be like, oh damn, she gets a lot done. <laughs> I feel like I work harder now than I ever did as a police officer ever. And I, I'm going to tell you, you can work your face off and still not be as, as successful as you could be and still not reach your full potential of fulfillment, of happiness, um, of success, because you are only doing what you think you should be doing, only thinking what you know to do, um, what somebody else has told you to do. You're not tuning in. You're not going within. You're not listening to your inner wisdom and your inner guidance. And that is the key. 
Because I know for me, when I'm in the flow, things just happen. Clients come, opportunities come. But when I'm not in the flow, nothing happens. Nothing happens. I mean, I could be, and I work, I don't stop, but like, I know something has shifted and I have to go in tune within and be like, okay, something has shifted. Let's connect. I need to get back to me. Clearly I've gotten outside of myself and it's easy to do, especially in a social media driven world. We look, oh, this woman's beautiful. This woman's skinny. This is the norm. I should look like this. I should be doing this, that, 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 that. But that's not the actual truth. That's not, that's not your truth. You're just comparing yourself and you're, and you're shooting all over yourself. You like how I did that. And that is causing you to feel like crap and it's causing you to be stuck. You want to be successful and manifest the family, the body, the career, the money, the relationship, whatever. Connect with yourself. Let me tell you this example. So I have a client. She's wonderful. She doesn't know how cool she is. She's cool as fuck. She has no idea. She, I'm working on it. I am working on her mindset, but first I have to help her get her business, um, you know, straightened out because that, that weighs a lot on her mind. What she doesn't know is I'm simultaneously helping both. And I was, and I was talking to her the other day and she had been so like, stuck in what she should do and what others perceived of her um and also she like put these limitations in her head I don't even know at what point in time in her life but she like puts these limitations in her head that like she had to do business a certain way it couldn't be this other way that she really like she's sitting here telling me this is where my heart is this is what I I mean and her actions show you that her heart is like way over here but she is across the freaking road, down the corner and to the right, doing something else because, oh, this is what, you know, this is what makes sense. And, but she's not creating what she wants to be creating as far as abundance and success. She's not invigorated. She's not super pumped. And yeah, she stays here. She stays down the corner and to the left. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, it doesn't even make sense. It makes no sense. I don't care what fucking logic tells you. Your heart is not into it. I have another client. This one's a man. We are doing his sales page. And he's like telling me, we're doing his sales page and yada, yada. And he starts telling me like, I just don't, I don't know. I don't like how this is going. I don't like these words like this. I just doesn't feel right. But, you know, I'm just, I guess we're just going to make it this. We're going to make it sound like this and da, 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 da. And I'm like, hey, what do you actually want to say? And he's like, oh, this is what I actually want to say. And he just like spits it out. And what he doesn't know is I'm typing all of this. And he's just, he's like, it is on his heart. He just wants so badly to get this message out and say what he has to say. And I'm like, okay, so what if we just said that? And he was like, shit. Yeah. I think that's it. And I'm like, yeah. And he's so excited and, and people are going to benefit 10 times more from him and his message because it's what he actually wanted to say. It's what he actually wanted to do. So many times we, we are handcuffing ourselves to our own shit. to like this big ball of dead weight that tells us that we can't do something, but that's all in our head. It's literally made up. It is made up. And the moment we unhandcuff ourselves, let that fucking ball of bullshit go. And we start actually being like, you know, I really, this feels good over here. This is what I really want to do. Oh, I feel so good doing this. I'm just going to try. I, what could happen if I did this? What would it be like? And you start getting into that energy. Watch and see what happens. You don't got to take it from coach. You go watch and see what happens. And I'm telling you, 
things will change, but you can't bullshit the universe and you can't bullshit a bullshitter. And that would be me. You can't halfway this stuff. If you want results, you have got to go fully into what does my heart want? What do I actually want to create in this world? What do I want to bring forth? What brings me joy and fulfillment? Because that's what everybody's fucking looking for, but we're missing. People are only trying to fit in, trying to find a place they belong. They're not actually seeking. They're not actually doing the work to be fulfilled. And that fulfillment is key. That's going to keep you happy. It's going to keep you successful and it's going to keep you serving this world. And at the end of the day, that's what we're all here to do. Serve our world, serve serve the communities, bring forth what we have to bring forth and help one another. That's literally what we're here to do. The answer, connect to yourself. Do the yoga, do the meditation, take a walk, do sport, do whatever you do to feel connected to yourself. Listen to my podcast, hire a coach, hire a mentor, take a course. I don't know. Read a book, whatever you have to do to feel connected to yourself, do it because that is your answer. That's your answer and your keys to your fulfillment and to your success. Until next time, I'll see you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the She's an Asset podcast. If you wouldn't mind, could you please share this out? The only way we grow and I can get this out to as many people as possible is with your help. So we're kind of in this together. And the good thing is, is I know you have my back. So uh, I want to say thank you and ask for you to share the show. And if we're not hanging out in the socials, I hope that you'll come and hang out with me. I'm Autumn Clifford pretty much everywhere. Thank you so much. See you next time.